too good, man. He's too good. What's the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. I'm really excited about this one. One of my favorite players that has entered in to the discussion is Simmons. He's get, You can get him for a free with the three star nominating contract in the MVP pack. Lads, this guy is fast becoming one of my favorite players to use. He's absolutely incredible. His movement, his dribbling, his acceleration, and just bringing other people into the ball. You see the dribbling here, brilliant feet. He's able to do first time passes, first time touch, first time um, dribble moves, first time skill moves, his position, his running. Look at the positions that he takes up. You'll see time and time again, right? And lads, look, I've tested this guy out online. We've tested him in friend matches. We've tested him online. We've tested him in the events, the divisions, the league. I test all the players online. You know what I mean? Because you get a real feel for their AI, different to offline. But yeah, you'll see there, first time, beautiful, beautiful control. And then it's in the back and then it's a brilliant finish from Murray. But yeah, his first time touches and his first time skill moves, linking the skill moves, he's one of the best in the business that I've seen. I think it's because of his height and because of his mixture of stats with the way we train him. You'll see there, that's contextual, nearly gets a good pass off, but it's positions that he takes up as well, right? We get the ball in our own half here. Excellent, just keeps possession, takes three men out of it, spreads it out wide to Demaria. We're on the counter now. This guy is at sixes and sevens. Again here, you'll see this chance towards the end of the video as well. Simmons gets the ball. He's got 86 minutes on the clock. We're 2-0 up. Lovely first time trick move. No extra touch needed. And it's in the back of the net. And he is just the main man. He's just absolutely incredible. We showed that at the, at the start of the video. But that is it in fairness. Like you're just going to get the best for your money with the three star contract for Simmons there. Now we did buy him for uh, 79. He's a 79 overall, right? He takes about 40,000 level. Um, XP to get up. I think it's about 40,000 anyway. It's like 41,000 or something um, to get him up to max out his 23 levels, right? That does give you, I think it's 48 progression points or around that. We'll get a look here in a second. It's 44 maybe. Yeah, 44. Now, we don't need to worry about his team play style proficiency. All we're going to be focusing on, and if you want to check out the real-time training where I talked about why I train him up the way I train him, and where I go through the, the training guide with him in a lot more detail. Obviously, this is sped up with me talking over it. All these clips that you're seeing are from live streams or from Dream Team Chronicles or from matches where I'm playing, where I'm recording specifically to train up a player or to review a player. So I do test it. It takes a long time to test out the player. So I would appreciate if you guys want to subscribe to keep me doing the content. Two videos a day, every day in January we're hitting and that's what we're going to continue to do until we can't do it anymore. But anyway, look, we're going to be doing a massive giveaway at 25,000 subs as well. So make sure you do stick around for that. I want to announce it soon. And as you see in the background there, lads, as I'm talking nonsense, we're training this guy up to have excellent dribbling, fairly decent passing, and really good acceleration. Now, there is a couple of concessions you need to make with this card. He's not Messi, he's not Neymar. You're not going to hit every single stat that you want to hit with him, right? If he went to a 94 overall, you would probably be able to get his dribbling up into the 90s, his acceleration up into the 90s, and his passing up into the 90s, right? Or maybe like high 80s, which would increase the card dramatically. But we're only working with what we have, right? So we've maxed him out at an 88 overall. I did kind of like struggle to decide whether I wanted to train up his shooting a bit. We could have put four points into shooting. And I probably do regret that a little bit, which you'll see in the first clips here. This is something that you need to consider depending on how you play, right? You will, because of his AI and because of how he plays on the pitch and the positions he picks up, you will get a lot of goal scoring chances. And you'll see there that even when you hit the target, right? I didn't hit the target there, but even when you hit the target, he because he doesn't have those stats, he's got low shooting stats. If you're used to playing with the likes of Messi and Neymar and doing those curl shots, it is going to be difficult, difficult to get used to him. Even the likes of Zico, you know, is a really good shooter. Especially if you're playing him in this in this formation with these tactics and this um, this style, right? So, for anyone that watches me, will know I'm a possession based player that uses traditional wingers. So I 90% of my attacks involve the wingers, right? Either I go out wide and cross it in, or I take on an opponent, or I use the wingers as overlaps. I use the left and right backs as overlaps. I play little triangles around the pitch. And I'm always looking for the possession-based play style rather than the quick meta, you know, through the middle. I'm going to be doing a video on that quite soon. A lot of people asking me about the meta at the moment. And we're going to discuss it again, as is the current state of it in 2023. 20, uh, 
but yeah, for this formation, you're going to see this is what I'm using. And then with the other formation that we have, it's a sub tactic where we put Simmons up into uh, a more advanced SS role. Now, I think he's better in this AMF role because he kind of defends as well. He defends the space, but you'll see the feet there. Beautiful trickery, beautiful dribbling. And I think that when I've been playing, like I played about 15 matches, right? And I've picked out the best clips. Bad touch there from Demaria lets me down. But the thing about it is, right, is that people kind of stand off Simmons because he's not your Messi. He's not your son. He's not your Mbappé. He's not, you know, one of those Neymar type big names where it's like, right, you know, I have to close down epic Neymar here or epic Mbappe or epic Messi because he's like 100 overall. I think with Simmons, they, they don't respect him enough and he can just pick up little pockets of space there. Brilliant save there from the keeper. But you'll see towards the end of the video, we score an absolute worldy with him um, to finish off this game 3-0. Well, we already saw it, but it's the positions that he takes up here, lads. You'll see in this role that he's playing as a whole player. Like if we are going to be playing him as a classic number 10 slash whole player, you want him to be able to link the central midfield, the defensive midfield, and the attack and midfield area in one seamless move. You don't want to be fighting for control with him. You want him to be making those runs when you're not controlling him. And look at the position he takes up there. A nice little flick back to Rice, and he's off. And if I have a better passer on the ball there, if I've got a Scolzi or a Modric or a De Bruyne, that's, you know, a straight true ball into him and he's in, he's in on goal, right? Again, because he doesn't take that option, he goes back to receive the ball again, and then he makes another very similar run in there where he takes out the players, right? And this repeats itself throughout all the matches and all the clips that you're going to see right he either takes a position up gets the ball and does something with it or if he doesn't get the ball he's kind of saying well okay i'll make a better run or i'll make a better position right you'll see here this is a good example of it here we get a lucky goal that's not gonna not gonna do anything there for us but watch the position that he takes up here right so romario has the ball spreads it out to pedri now there's no danger here you're saying from pedri is to cut in but watch simmons he's taking the ai out of it that the ai isn't going to cut in on top of pedri because they do that a lot of the time but simmons run is absolutely brilliant again we get the ball here try to take on our man nearly beat him but don't and that is something that you have to contend with as well but when we don't get the ball through and he fails to do that what's he going to do rest no he's going to get back into that position and there's been times where I've been playing online under pressure, right? Under serious pressure and find it hard to find my men on the pitch, find it hard to get the ball out wide to Neymar or to Messi or whoever I'm playing. And Simmons will be in that hole out in front of his defender the whole time, as you see there. I don't go through to him, I recycle it, and then he's there again. He just sits in that little pocket and this is the goal. Boom, little touch, first time trick move, no first touch needed, bang in the back of the net. So yeah, lads, look, I do get carried away with players sometimes, but I genuinely think that Simmons is one of the most exciting players that I've used. You can get him for a free three-star nominated contract. I think he's a no-brainer. I definitely think more and more people are going to be using him this week because he's on A form. What about this for a pass? He turns provider. It's a brilliant finish from Kubo. Another player that I will feature in a review maybe if I get enough people asking for him. But next up is Declan Rice. But he just, he just has it all, man. If you can limit what you're expecting out of him, you're not going to be shooting finesse goals or curl shots like Neymar. But I do definitely rate him a 9 out of 10. I know it's high. I know that I should probably um, not get too carried away. But I've had more fun playing with Simmons in the last week, testing him out and playing different matches in Dream Team Chronicles that like then I've had playing with a lot of the big players like Messi and stuff. So he is an absolute monster, lads. His positioning, his dribbling... I can compete with anybody, right? There is a couple of concessions you need to make, obviously. He's not going to be running rings around you like Mbappe. He's all about kind of quickness, right? He's like an Iniesta type player. He kind of gets in and gets out. He's like Muhammad Ali. You know, he's not going for the big haymaker. He's getting in with a few jabs and leaving his mark. So I definitely think the 9 out of 10 rating is good for Simmons. Definitely go and buy him. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to be involved Oh, excuse me. If you want to be involved in the 25,000 subscriber giveaway, I will talk to you later. Declan Rice is up next. Let me know what you think of these reviews. Any feedback is, is uh, appreciated. And I'll talk to you in a bit, lads. Have a good weekend. Peace.